Okay, we're looking at 21 here. Which quadratic below has a solution of x equals 5 and x equals negative 3? So that's what it's saying. It says x equals 5 and x equals negative 3. So if they give you the answers and you want to figure out what the quadratic is with a problem like this, it's pretty simple. Just reverse the problem here. Notice that 5 right here. Let me highlight this. Notice that 5 is on the right and it's positive. If I wanted to move 5 over here to the left, I would do the opposite of positive 5. I would just subtract it. So I'd have x minus 5 equals nothing. Same thing for the x equals negative 3. The opposite of negative 3, if I want to move it to the other side, is to add it. I'd have x plus 3 equals 0. Well, guess what? These two are called factors. I can take those two factors there and multiply them out. So I put them together. We don't need the equal sign because we're just going to multiply it out. And we're going to use the FOIL method. So I start with x here, and I'm going to do x times x and then x times 3. All right, here we go. x times x is x squared. I do x times 3. That's positive 3x. Jump over to the negative 5. Now we need to multiply everything by negative 5. Negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times positive 3 is negative 15. You need to combine like terms in the middle here. And when you do that, you're going to be left with x squared minus 2x minus 15. And you simply find that answer, and it's A. Now that's one way to do it. There's another way to do this as well. That is, you can take each answer choice, and since A is 1 in each one of these, right? Remember A, H, and K? A is the number in front of X squared. Since A is 1, you can play what two numbers and see if you can find the two factors and solve. So if I have X squared minus 2X minus 15, the value in front of X squared is 1, so I can play what two numbers. So you say, what two numbers can you multiply by that give you negative 15, but when you put them together, give us negative 2. That would be negative 5 and 3. So you write your factors like this, x minus 5, x plus 3. All right, and then I would set that equal to 0. And now I have two equations. I have x minus 5 equals 0. I have x plus 3 equals 0. And if I were to solve these two at the bottom, the opposite right here of subtracting 5 would be to add 5 to the other side. The opposite of adding 3 here would be to subtract it to the other side. And notice that we end up with our two answers that they have in the problem, making A the answer. Pick the method you like the best.